everybody. It's Tuesday morning. <laughs> I'm not that late. Only seven minutes. <laughs> hey, good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Let me hop on over here to YouTube and get us all set up. You know, the normal stuff. Uh, make sure that we are on subscribers only. Otherwise, we have issues. How is everybody this morning? I hope you are having a lovely morning. It is dreary and cold and gross here in, in Carlisle. I'm, I came to work in my sweatpants today. Today was a sweatpants day. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I think that should, oh, all right, we're fixed. We are fixed. Hello, hey Kate, I see you. <laughs> hey Sandy. Hey everybody, Christina. Oh my gosh, everybody's going by so fast. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Fragile. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, everybody. I went through uh, the Starbucks drive through this morning. Got myself some Starbucks. We need an office mug. <laughs> you know, I have those, those mug shelves that I plan to put at the new place. I was like, oh my gosh, mug shelves. These are a thing. We're going to put them right above the coffee area, I feel like. Your first coffee chat. Welcome. Welcome to your first coffee chat. Um, so today is Tuesday morning coffee chat. Um, <laughs> we are multicasting to Facebook and YouTube, um, but we are right here on knickknacks.net. Um, and that is what we are going to be talking about today. Um, we are talking about my marketplace uh, over on District, um, which is Knickknacks. Uh, we started in November and we currently have, did we hit 18,000? Did we? We did. We are we are exactly at eighteen thousand members right now. <laughs> Woo! Celebration! <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. Like right now, we are at eighteen thousand members. <laughs> I knew we were so close, and I just happened to have it up. Look! Look, everybody! Look! 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 look. What is that? 18,000 members. That is so exciting. <laughs> so we started in November. Um, we have 18,000 members and 26, a little over 2,600 sellers, which is very, very exciting. Isn't that great? So we are growing fast. And we have a wonderful community here on Knickknacks. Um, yes, it was just 1,600 a few weeks ago. I think word is getting out. Word is getting out. Um, and that's kind of what we were going to talk about today. Um, we're going to talk about a few things, but really what I wanted to focus on is how to get the word out about Knickknacks. Um, I had somebody mention in the chat about um, how... Our, our members and our sellers and our buyers can all help get the word out about knickknacks. Um, you're telling people, fantastic, that is wonderful. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to focus on today. Um, you know, I do all that I can through my social media. Um, we just had a press release go out yesterday about our handmade market. Um, it went out on Business Wire and it was picked up by Yahoo Finance, which is really exciting. Um, I think that's the second time we've had one in Yahoo Finance. The first one was when we were launching. Um, so that's two knickknacks uh, press releases we've had go out um, through Yahoo Finance. Uh, so that's very exciting. Uh, but we're, we just got, we got to get the word out. We got to get the word out. Oh, thank you. Yes, I did load mugs in the Buy It Now. We have coffee in the Buy It Now. Um, don't forget the coffee. We've got coffee in the Buy It Now. Uh, we're selling it on Knickknacks now. Um, so there is coffee in the Buy It Now, and there is also mugs. I grabbed some mugs from around the marketplace. Um, as the marketplace owner, I can select um, things from around the marketplace from other sellers. So I am featuring some mugs from other sellers. Um, in order to find the buy it now, there should be like a little store icon somewhere around the bottom. If you're watching on a mobile device, you should see a store icon. If you are on your computer, um, let me show you where to go. 
from my computer. No, you don't need to use my microphone. Let me turn you guys around. I don't know if it'll be the same. Here, look. So it should be right here. Um, there's a buy it now, there's auction, and there's sold. Oh, look, we sold some coffee. Fantastic. You guys were buying coffee while I was late. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we sold a mug and we sold some coffee. Fantastic. Uh, but here's the buy it now. So you can see all the mugs that I have featured. Um, and these were, are from various sellers around the marketplace. Um, these aren't all my mugs. This one was really cute with the kitties there. This one is an elephant. Um, just really fun mugs. Hudson Bay. You've seen the blankets before, I'm sure. Um, and then, of course, the coffee is sprinkled in there. So there you have it. That is under the Buy It Now tab, um, but it is also um, on your phone, of course. So there you go. Um, yes, there are still seller applications pending. And actually, I might be able to show you that as well. Um, let's see if I can get over to there. And I will show you what I see. Marketplace. Here. <laughs> All right. So here I have this many, <laughs> 335 applications pending. So we're at 335. But hey, you know, it was at one point over 2,000. So we're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. Um, and I have I have been trying. I did a bunch over Easter weekend. Um, so please check your email, check your spam. Um, in a lot of cases, they were rejections. But read your rejections thoroughly. We had someone comment in the um, knickknacks chat. Um, I'm established seller. Why did I get rejected? Read your rejections. Please read your rejections because it says right there in your rejection, I need more information. This is what I need. <laughs> so you need to read your rejections. Usually I'm just asking for photos, um, but you just got to read it thoroughly. When do I sleep? Um, at night. <laughs> Sometimes I fall asleep editing my videos. Um, okay, so I have to stay on topic. And also my phone's not charging. Oh, it's pulled out of the wall. That's why. Let's fix that. Now we're charging. Okay, so. We have a couple items of business to touch on before we get to chatting too much. We have some special events coming up. <laughs> we have a few special events. Um, I will get to questions. Usually I answer questions towards the end. Otherwise I get really derailed because my mind is constantly like bouncing all over the place. So I will get to questions. <laughs> Where's my glasses? I actually don't know where I left them. I have to find them. I'm not sure where they're at. <laughs> Um, so signups for the where in the world train, our next knickknacks event is, are going to be posted tomorrow. Correct, Christina? Am I reading this correctly? <laughs> so today, today, Wednesday, today, no, tomorrow, tomorrow's Wednesday, today's Tuesday, tomorrow, um, they're going to be posted tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to post the signups in the live seller chat. And you can sign up for your spot on the Where in the World train. Um, um, let me just see what Christina sent me. Yes, we have a new chat channel for live sellers that is Where in the World. And um, that is for the Where in the World train. Um, <clears throat> make sure that when you are putting your names in the spreadsheet that you are not removing anybody else because you will automatically be removed completely from the train. Um, you will just be disqualified from being in the train if you remove anyone else's name from a time slot. Okay, that is a rule. Um, don't remove anyone else's names. Um, if you see somebody else's name, the date for the train is the 27th and the 28th of April. And the, the, um, the theme is where in the world. We talked about this last coffee chat, but in case you missed it, our next knickknack sponsored train, um, the, the theme is where in the world. So um, 
live sellers are able to choose some location in the world, whether that's um, a country, whether that's a state, whether that's um, a town, I don't know. I chose Chile. I get two slots because I own the marketplace and, and I kick it off both days. So I need two. So I picked two different places. For day one, I picked Chile and I have to show you. I, I brought my backpack with me to give you guys a sneak peek of what I have because I'm so excited about it. Um, so I'm doing Chile for Sunday and this is one of my items. It's so good. Isn't this so good? <laughs> I am so excited. <laughs> so what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to schedule it and then get these preloaded. Um, the wait, there's more, there's more, there's more. Wait, this little guy. Oh, I have a background. Backwards. Look, a bird. I stuffed everything in this backpack to come over here this morning because I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. So this is my time slot for, um, look at this. She's so precious with her owl. I know the Vera. <laughs> this was my, this was my Vera stage. Um, <laughs> where did I, oh, so here's the best part. I bought these off of, this is, this is my segue. This is my segue. Um, so let me show you and then I'll, I'll get into my segue about social media. Um, we have, the little duck, a bunny. Look oh at so cute. <laughs> Wait, there's one more in here. Oh, this. Oh, I'm hitting the cord. I'm hitting the cord. Here, look. Oh, look. What's unfortunate about this one is I bought it and there was no mention of this chip and no pictures of it. Like it was fine in the pictures and then I got it and it had a chip. Um, I was pretty bummed about that, but it is pretty great. It's pretty great, right? Um, <laughs> I know. It's so good. <laughs> okay. So before I get, before I get onto my, my segue, um, into social media, um, another thing, the handmade market. So everything, all of this stuff is happening on one crazy weekend. It's going to be, it's going to be an amazing weekend of lots of events and happenings. Um, April 26th is our handmade market. Okay. So that is a day for all of our artisans, <laughs> a day for all of our artisans. So we currently have categories and tags for all of our artisans. Um, handmade by me are the categories for you to load your items in. And on April 26th, our entire homepage of knickknacks is going to shift and we're going to get rid of all of the current tags. There won't be coffee. There won't be there won't be um, UV glass. There won't be, um, sorry guys, there won't be a featured seller that day. Um, we're just going to get rid of everything. And it's all going to be handmade items. So it's going to be crochet by knickknacks artists. And it's going to be um, paintings by knickknacks artists. And it's going to be resin by handmade artists. And so that's going to be the whole homepage of knickknacks for April 26th. And on that day, we're also going to have live events happening. So it's going to be kind of like a um, like a handmade fair. That, like if you go to an art show, like an art fair, and people have different booths and stuff. So I'm encouraging those who have the ability to go live, to go live throughout the day. Um, if you want to have a train, you can coordinate with others and have trains. Um, and you can and you can have trains and do stuff like that. But I want to encourage you to like do demonstrations on your maybe you make jewelry, you can do demonstrations on your jewelry, but also have your jewelry in the buy it now. Um, so you could be like, Oh, I'm making earrings right now. But if you'd like to buy a pair of earrings, I have them in my buy it now, you know, so you can you can work together. I want you to work with we have a handmade um, chat that I see a lot of you using and sharing your art, which is wonderful. Um, but that's going to be April 26th. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to drop them in that chat. Um, that's where a lot, of, I see a lot of people coordinating and, and, and getting excited about that event. Um, as I said, uh, we did have that press release go out. So that was very exciting. Um, so that was on April 26th. And then the 27th and the 28th is going to be our next Knickknacks sponsored train 
which is the where in the world. So my thoughts for that, because I want to inv also involve our sellers who aren't necessarily going live yet. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're also going to change the homepage for that. Um, time on the 26th. When I wake up, it's going to happen. <laughs> As soon as I get up, we're making it happen. So there is no like set time yet. I'll have to commit to something. I will commit. I'm just not committed yet to a certain time. Usually I'm up pretty early though. <laughs> it's a Friday. So the kids have to be, uh, have to be out to school. So, <laughs> um, so then the 26th, I'm sorry, the 27th and the 28th is where in the world. So my thoughts for where in the world is to um, compile a list of places um, where if you have items, like if you if you want to participate and you're not going live, um, say you have items made in Japan, you can put them in the Japan category. Or if you have items that are made in a Scandinavian country, you could put items in the skin. Scandinavia category, um, USA, USA category. And then on the day of the train, the two days, we can have the homepage uh, dedicated to places where um, things are made. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do for the 27th and 28th. So it's just going to be a crazy weekend. <laughs> it's going to be wild. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> So uh, that's kind of what we have going on. Um, Christina is going to be posting a Google Sheets link where sellers um, can can jot down their uh, name and username and if they plan to go live on the 26th, basically when their booth is going to be open, which I think is really cute. Like, when are you going to open your booth at the handmade market? You know, like, I love it. <laughs> Um, and she's going to be, she's going to try to post that by this evening. Um, so we're going to get that rolling. Um, but yeah, th that's what the events we have coming, um, as far as knickknacks events, obviously we have lots of, lots of amazing sellers who are organizing trains and I'm very excited for these trains. Uh, we did notice that you can't schedule events past a month. But uh, support is working on pushing that farther out because everybody's so excited about trains that we want to we want to start scheduling them into the rest of the year. Um, so I talked to Sienna this morning and they are working on making that happen for us. Um, so just sit tight. It's happening. Um, I think that's that's what I wanted to say. Oh, OK. So let's talk about social media. So I got all these great critters. Oh, it's going to be 30 minutes. It's going to be 30 minutes because we think it's going to be really popular. We want to make sure to get as many people as possible on there. Um, yes. Oh, and then the other thing is as far as countries and places go, it's okay if you have the same country or place as someone else. I mean, I would encourage you to be creative. Like I picked Chile for Sunday and then for Saturday, I picked <laughs> Massachusetts, USA. <laughs> Cause that's where I was born. So just, you know, you can get creative. Um, but that being said, let's talk about social media. So I purchased these things off of eBay cause I'm like, where am I going to find, um, <laughs> where, what part of mass? Uh, I was born in Newburyport and, uh, my family kind of moved around a little bit. I spent some time in Cape Cod and, uh, Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I grew up mostly in New England and then we moved here to Pennsylvania and I've been here ever since. I mean, I've lived in Kansas for a little while, but, um, so I bought these things off of eBay because I'm like, you know what? I am never going to be able to find enough items from Chile in this month <laughs> to make it happen. <laughs> and so I went on eBay and Etsy and I, I started looking for items from Chile. And I knew that like the whole inspiration came from these Pablo Zabal figurines that I've been obsessed with recently. Um, I think they're so fantastic. And so I wanted to have a bunch of those and I have more coming. Um, I have an owl and then I have a few more of the figurines coming that I'm going to be selling. Um, so I purchased these and I got cute little notes. I got cute little notes from the sellers because they knew who I was. How great is that? <laughs> Thank you so much for your purchase. I don't typically write notes to buyers, but I had to leave one for you. 
So that's one note. <laughs> Isn't that so sweet? And then I got another one. I watch you on YouTube. This is from the estate of a good friend, not a thrift find. So how wonderful is that? That, my friends, is the power of social media. <laughs> now, that doesn't include the, the messages that I got. I think I got one or two messages in response to my purchases. Um, so I got messages like, oh, my gosh, I'm so happy that you made a purchase for me. I watch your videos. So I bought, I think, maybe like eight items. And I got four messages back because people have seen my videos or recognize my username or know who I am. And so <laughs> that is the power of social media. Social media, if you think about it, is what brought all of us together here, which is wild. <laughs> so um, you guys have been asking how you can help you can help promote knickknacks. And I feel like the answer is social media. Um, so, some of you have, you know, said, oh, well, I don't really have social media. And I always say that Instagram is the easiest. Instagram is the easiest. I think people get scared off from Instagram because everybody is posting reels. I didn't even start posting reels until like a year ago, maybe two years ago, because I'm like, I should probably just try this. I still don't post stories. I still don't get stories. I'm like, you should post stories. I'm like, I don't understand how to post a story. It doesn't make any sense to me because you post it and then it disappears. And I don't, I don't want it to disappear. I want it to stay there forever because I put work into it. <laughs> so instead I just post other people's stories that I think are funny. Um, so, <laughs> so I don't really do that part, but Instagram is so easy because you can post photos. You can post photos and you can be like, hey, check out this item I just listed on knickknacks. And then you can tag that item and you can tag it knickknacks seller. You can tag it knickknacks marketplace. You can tag it for what it is. You know, you can tag it Chile. You can tag it vintage decor. You can tag it I love cats. <laughs> There, there are so many things you could tag it. Tags are basically, some people follow just tags. So some people on social media will follow just tags because they like to see things that are tagged with a specific thing. So like they'll, they'll follow mid-century modern decor, like hashtag mid-century modern decor. So if you tag your item with hashtag mid-century modern decor, it's going to show up in their feed. So that's the importance of hashtags. It is a pound sign. Yeah, it is the pound sign. And then, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's a keyword. It is exactly a keyword, but it's a keyword with no spaces. So it's hashtag pound sign and then blah, 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 no spaces. So essentially, if you can, you can create an Instagram, you can name it after your business. You know, if, if you're calling yourself vintage crazy finds, <laughs> You can create an Instagram and call it Vintage Crazy Finds, you know, and that's not just helping knickknacks. It's helping you grow your business. You can, you can create, you know, um, you can link. <laughs> Is support in the chat? Um, I saw support pop in. They might be here. They might be lurking. Um, <laughs> Yes, people, yes, people scroll. My kids are like, I I, um, I, sh I blame it on my kids, but my I'm guilty too of getting in the death scroll and you just scroll Instagram. <laughs> like, oh crap, here I am. I'm, I should be working and being productive. Um, For my business to link my Facebook. Yes, and you can link your Facebook business account. I find that Facebook is harder to reach people because Facebook puts a lot of pressure on you to monetize and pay for ads and do that sort of thing. So I found that Facebook's a little bit harder to reach people um, than Instagram, especially if you get into a community on Instagram and people start liking your posts and stuff. It's a little bit easier to get followers and get traction on Instagram than it is on Facebook um, on the Nick Next site. Yes, you, you can follow. Yeah, we have we have a knickknacks and we on Facebook and we have one on Instagram. On Instagram, it's knickknacks marketplace. <laughs> well, awesome. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> 
have well you don't have to use instagram it is it is totally just a suggestion it is just a suggestion um but it would definitely help um to grow knickknacks to grow your business and i was just thinking of ways that um that you guys can help uh because i can only grow knickknacks so far I mean, I'm, I'm pushing it as hard as I can, you know, I'm putting marketing behind it. I'm paying for marketing. Um, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to get us out there. Um, but I can only do so much <laughs> getting my logo on post is my, okay. So, uh, we added a, um, chat channel called logos. What is it called? Logos and graphics. I think I called it. Um, it is logos and graphics. And on that tab, there are logos and graphics. Now, Dean, who is my, um, my go-to for graphics, the letter shop is working on a new, um, a few new graphics for us. Let me see where is, uh, logos and graphics. So if you go to logos and graphics, I want to show you guys. Let me turn it around. Scoochie, scoochie. Here we go. These are so wonderful. <laughs> now, these would be great for using on Canva. And I'd love to get a way for them to be integrated into the system. And that's something that I've talked to uh, District about so that you can post directly to Instagram, like just listed. And then you can have your item in there and you can post it directly to Instagram. Um, and then down here we have sold. So if you have a Canva, um, what you can do is you should be able to remove backgrounds and it'll just take this background out and you could pop your um, image in there and post it to Instagram or Photoshop. You could do it on Photoshop. <laughs> Uses the new post-its. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so those are, I yeah, I love these. Dean did such an amazing job. Such an awesome job. And Dina's also working on the tote bag design. So they are working on the tote bag. Um, can you put buy it now if not approved for live? Yes, you can. Yes, you can always. So as soon as you're approved as a seller, you can start listing buy it now listings. Um, you have to wait to be approved for live to go live. And that just involves an onboarding. Um, and there is a waiting list for live onboarding. And there's a lot of people very eager to go live, which is so exciting. Um, but Sienna is, 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 is doing it and she only has so many hours in the day and we are not the only marketplace um, demanding her attention. So she's doing it as quickly as possible, um, but she only has so many hours in the day. So uh, she is scheduling the onboardings, um, but we just need everybody to be patient. In the meantime, you can list buy it nows. Um, you can do multi-day auctions. Um, and just make sure that you're filling out that on uh, live onboarding questionnaire so that you can get in on the list um, and get something scheduled. Okay, yeah, absolutely. We can definitely post a list of tags that we can use. For sure. I just had to figure out where the best place to list them would be. I'm thinking seller guidelines might be best because then they won't get buried. So we can list, um, or maybe logos and graphics. Maybe I'll list the tags in logos and graphics because I feel like if people are going to logos and graphics, they're looking for graphics to share. So I will post tags um, in logos and graphics if that works for everybody. Um, um, I would suggest buy it now. Um, I think multi-day auctions are fun to play with. Uh, make sure if you are listing multi-day auctions that you're listing the least amount you will you are willing to take um, for an item. Um, but I, I would suggest buy it now as I feel like. And now we have pre-bids. Um, we do have pre-bids now. I think last week we were getting pre-bids by the end of the week. Now we have pre-bids. So for all of our live sellers, when you are listing items for your live sales, make sure if you want pre-bids, if you want to enable the pre-bids, that you are toggling the pre-bid option uh, because that allows people to go into your auction ahead of time. And if they can't be there when you have your sale, they can pre-bid on your items and they can enter those pre-bids if they can't be there. Um, so it's kind of like an absentee bid. Um, and then, you know, it's there. 
Is there a way to get new tags? What tags are you looking for? It depends on the tags. I haven't seen multi-day auctions pick up too much. Originally, um, I, oh, a Murano tag. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you know, I just said to Andrew today, I was trying to, um, our, our, our theme this week is Tour of Italy. And that is our weekly theme. I switched the page over to our weekly theme this morning. I still have to do our featured seller. Um, but I was talking to Andrew this morning and I was going through some of the Murano listings that are tagged Murano. And uh, a lot of them aren't. Well, not a lot of them, but quite a few of them are not actual Murano. My mom's calling me. Um, they are Murano, like uh, fake Murano with like fake labels and stuff. And I, I feel like some of our sellers are experienced enough to know this is Murano, this isn't. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> yes, that's a dangerous one, Murano. Um, so I'm not just sure having a Murano, uh, a Murano. You know, I, I look, I do creep on other marketplaces and I do see their Murano uh, categories and I'm like, oof, <laughs> like, that's not Murano. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Yeah. So it's absolutely worth doing pre-bids. Absolutely. You know, that was something I pushed for because I've seen the potential for having pre-bids other places. Um, and I was like, we need pre-bids. This, this will be so great because I know a lot of, a lot of buyers can't be there at that exact time. And it's so beneficial to be like, Hey, I'm having a sale at this time. If you can't be there, you can enter pre-bids. It's, it's a huge thing. It is really awesome that, um, district has given us. <laughs> given us these prebids. Um, I saw a question, but now it's scrolling up. Um, let's see. Oh, um, as far as Murano goes, if you are not sure about the Murano, if you're not sure, call it art glass because somebody experienced will know that if it is Murano. There were a few in there today that were like Murano question mark. And I'm like, that's Murano. And I put it in our tour of Italy. Like I could just tell by looking at it, you know, even though the seller was questioning it, I was like, I know what that is. And so I put it in our tour of Italy. Um, so you can call it art glass. Somebody who collects it or somebody who knows is going to recognize it. Um, so if, if you are an, inner, an experienced seller and you don't know, your best bet is to call it art glass. That was a hard lesson for me. I learned that lesson um, because I had collectors and people calling me out like, oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. And I was like, oh, that's not, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> like I, I tried my best. I thought I did my research, but maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and so I learned that lesson. And now I'm very careful about how I say, like, and, and if I do make a mistake, I try to correct it and say, you know, oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> I'm still learning every single day. And that's part of reselling. Yes, yes. Murano, there's, and there's a lot of like close pieces. You know, I see a lot of people posting in the Murano group and they're like, go check with the check group, you know, <laughs> the check glass group, you know, and they're bouncing back and forth. Um, the and Murano and Poli group is the one that I recommend on Facebook, not any of the other Murano groups, but the Murano and Poli group um is is the best one in my experience the other ones it can be kind of condescending um but murano and poli is the best one just make sure you follow their rules <laughs> yes with dave kingsley yes absolutely yes yes the japanese and the check glass can also be tricky <laughs> And some of the stickers are misleading too, because they are using fake stickers as well. So it just gets all muddied up. It gets all muddied up. But for this marketplace, I just want to encourage you guys that if you don't know for certain, just call it what it is. Say, oh, this is a piece of art glass. It's really pretty. <laughs> yep. Chalet and Lorraine. Yes. Yes. I know. Okay, so I need to start putting out um, themed sales. I've been scheduling out my sales. This is one thing I wanted to um, to talk about too, and I'm glad that I have the opportunity to, is 
I am scheduling out my sales as far as I possibly can. Um, and part of the reason I'm doing this is I know, I know that when I started selling, and I'm just going to say it, when I started selling on whatnot, um, and I started scheduling sales, I know that I'll, some people got crunchy when I would schedule over them. Um, I don't want to do that here. Um, I know eventually it might come down to that um, once we start getting sales scheduled farther and farther out. Um, but <laughs> I'm trying to schedule my sales out. Um, I don't want you guys to ever feel like I'm scheduling over you because um, I am here to support you. And so I I will be scheduling my sales out and um, and making sure that they are, are on the list. <laughs> And so that you can look and you can see, because I do know that whenever I have a sale, I my sales tend to command attention. Um, and so if you are having a sale simultaneous with me, um, I could be taking attention away from you and your sales. And I don't want that to be the case. Um, so the kids sale. Yes. The second competition, I think, is going to be. Uh, what day was that? I can't remember. Um, I'll have to look. I'll have to look at my uh, my schedule. I'll have to look at my schedule. How do you tell real Nippon from fake? Ooh, <laughs> that's a very good question. Um, I don't know the answer to that. There are uh, resources out there. There are, I know there are websites that you can look at. Um, and there are also groups on Facebook that are very knowledgeable. Um, I, I know as far as the Murano and Poli group goes, there are some like very, very knowledgeable experts in that group. And that is why I trust that group because I know there are experts in that group. And I'm... I'm sure that there are other groups out there dedicated to Nippon who also have experts in that group that could probably help. Yes, we are going to have a Christmas in July. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, where do I find handmade section for selling? So when you list an item, um, you and it is handmade by you, um, you will tag it with um, hand. Uh, uh, I forget what the, it, it's uh, basically something, something by knickknacks artists. So those are the tags for handmade by you. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's why I said I can't do it forever. Um, and there are certain circumstances like, um, I think it's next weekend. When is it next weekend or two weekends from now? where I will be away for a weekend. And so the weekend before I have to double up on sales and I think I am overlapping and I do apologize for that. Um, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm doing my best not to overlap. <laughs> handmade by us. So if it's not handmade by us, I'm not sure what, oh, we have, we have a quilt category. We have a quilt category. So you can just list it in quilts. You can just list it under the quilts. Yes. And that's the other thing. Um, I've talked about it before on our coffee chats. Um, as far as trains go and sales happening at the same time. Um, I know some people have been apprehensive about um, trains happening and then trying to schedule a sale happening at the same time. A lot of these trains are themed. You know, we we have um, we have uh, the the pottery train. Um, and we had the Native American, the Native American, the, the Latin American train scheduled. And we had, um, what else do we have coming up? We have the, um, gosh, why am I drawing a blank? Usually I can just pull it right out. I could be like, oh, the glass menagerie train. You know, we, we have all these different trains coming up, but sometimes somebody might not be into the subject of that train. So it's okay to schedule your sale at the same time. I thought one thing that was really neat that uh, Mary Weather Market, Mary brought up to me, is she wants to schedule a pop culture train, which I'm actually very excited about uh, because, you know, this this marketplace has been very focused on glass and pottery. Um, and, and I would love, <laughs> I would love to branch out a little bit and try some pop culture, um, some collectibles and stuff. So um, she... Uh, yeah yeah pop culture pop culture <laughs> yeah I mean if you guys have ideas 
I mean, you, you go for it. You can schedule trains, you know, just reach out to me and be like, hey, what about this? You know, and, as I, and that's the other thing is like, you don't really need my permission to schedule a train. I just like to know. Um, I just like to be aware. I'm just just reach out to me and be like, hey, this is what I had in mind. And I'll be like, OK, cool. You know, um, so I just kind of like to have an idea for what's going on. Not that I micromanage. <laughs> oh, maybe a little. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, we have coffee in the buy it now. Andrew's like, you need to sell more coffee. <laughs> like, like, oh, I always forget to mention I've got coffee in the buy it now. I just assume people know. <laughs> what would qualify as pop culture? Um, that's a very good question. I think like Funko Pops and Pokemon cards and... Or, I think Andrew used to call, or Ashton used to call him Pokemon, Pokemon cards, um, figurines, uh, action figures, that sort of stuff. <laughs> I'm aggressively helpful. That's exactly right. <laughs> Simpsons, cartoons, anime, you got it. Barbie, that sounds great. <laughs> I think we have VHS, don't we? Do we not? No, they're not all my mugs. No, I gather some mugs from around the marketplace and have them in there. Some of them are mine. Some of the crazier ones are mine. <laughs> Vi we do, you know, I've been featuring vinyl on the homepage because I was trying to like build that category up some. So I do have vinyl now featured on our homepage as well as ephemera. Um, I think I added coins and currency, ephemera and paper and vinyl. Um, and music all on the homepage. So we all have those featured on the homepage for now. So those are all on the homepage. Um, I don't think World War II postcards are pop culture. That's more historical. What about leather? I'm not sure about leather. Do we not have a category for leather? Is that what you're asking? I feel like we could add a category for leather. Records. Yes, absolutely. You could put that under vinyl. Leather for a tag. I could probably add leather for a tag. But leather is just kind of like a material. I feel like if it's like a leather purse, it can go under purses and handbags. Um, if it's a belt, it could go under fashion. We could maybe add Western. I think we have Mantiques. <laughs> See my issue? And then it comes back around to the fact that not all sellers are going to be able to recognize items of a certain kind. Like, for instance, right now we have on the front page artisan made. Um, and what, what feeds into the artisan made category are items handmade by me. And in that category, we have items that are being tagged that obviously are not handmade by me. Um, and so Mary and I have to go in and we have to purge that category every so often because it's only supposed to be items that are made and they're clearly not it's like a ceramic it's like it's like this and it's like are, are you Pablo Zabal I don't think so that can't be tagged handmade by me um so that's part of the issue we're having with tags is that um <laughs> stuff is being tagged with stuff that doesn't belong in categories and so I'm very um leery about creating certain tags and categories because I need to make them simple. <laughs> I need to make them really simple because um, some people just don't understand them. Um, even easy ones. Um, so I thought it would be really cool to have like an art nouveau category and then an art deco and a mid-century modern. But the more I thought about it, I realized that not everybody knows what mid-century modern is. A lot of people think, oh, it's made in the mid-century. It's mid-century modern, but that's not really the case. Mid-century modern is, is a style that, yes, it's made in the mid-century, but it's its own thing. <laughs> so, so that's kind of where I'm like, oh, I got to really like, I got to think about the tags and yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, you can actually, uh, I can show some coffee. I'll pin some coffee right now. Let's do that. If you're interested. 
Um, let's see, what do we have? We have some plain coffee. I can move this to stage. I know people are always asking for regular coffee. So if you're watching over on YouTube or Facebook and you'd like to purchase some coffee, this is just our unfortunately addictive, it's plain ground coffee. Um, you can just type in claim six and you can get yourself some coffee. <laughs> You'll be sent a link and uh, you can check out from knickknacks. Um, has anyone bought the four? No, no. Well, actually, we did have somebody try to, to try to buy it one time and it was declined. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't think they looked at the price. <laughs> um, and that's another thing. I pushed back my coffee release um, to April 20th. Um, on April 20th, the thrifting teacher is going to be having a tea and coffee for two train. Um, and she reached out to me and asked if I wanted to participate. And I am having uh, the meet and greet in Ohio on that day, so I'm not able to participate in the train. But I told her I could release my coffee that same day um, and, and bring some people in who might need mugs or something to go with their the new coffee. Um, and so we're going to release it that morning um, when, when that train kicks off. So that will be um, 11 a.m. Eastern, and it is a, a coffee and tea themed train um, with accessories and whatnot. So that's really exciting. So that is April 20th. Yes, so that's the day I will be releasing the French vanilla coffee. Um, I was gonna do it April 9th, but after, after she approached me with that, I was like, I have an idea. <laughs> I can't be there, but my coffee can. <laughs> so. Yeah, it'll be great. French vanilla. We've been asked for French vanilla for a long time, so I'm kind of excited for it. I thought I added craft supplies, but maybe I didn't. Let me look real quick because I've got my computer open right here. I could have swore I added craft supplies because I knew it was being asked for, but I sometimes I get like distracted easily. <laughs> I bet you didn't know that. Uh, we don't do pods, but you can buy um pods let's see craft i did i added crafting supplies we have a category called crafting supplies and the tag is crafting supplies <laughs> we have a category for that Um, oh my gosh, wouldn't that be amazing if I could get that done in time? Because I've been thinking that we need like, we need some more like unflavored coffees for sure. Definitely. A crystal tag. <laughs> we can try it. We can try a crystal tag. See, my whole thing is people are going to be tagging everything in the world glass as crystal. Woohoo! Awesome! Welcome to Knickknacks! Welcome! <laughs> I know. I, we just need a coffee called Blandro. New here. Oh, awesome! Welcome, welcome! It makes me happy to see everybody new. I'm talking to our friends over on Facebook. I'm saying welcome. Oh, who am I talking to? So right now, <laughs> just talking to myself, <laughs> it feels like. <laughs> um, so right now, we are multicasting over to Facebook and YouTube. Um, but we are right now on knickknacks.net. So this is my my knickknacks Tuesday morning coffee chat uh, where we talk about knickknacks, which is my marketplace on the district app platform, the district platform. Um, so knickknacks is my marketplace on district. Uh, we, we hit 18,000 members this morning. 
which is amazing. It's so exciting because we've only been at this since November. Um, and it continues to grow. I think um, when I just looked again, it was like 18, 18,006. Let's see, where are we at? 18,000. I don't check it every day, I promise. <laughs> just kidding. I, I literally, I'm on knickknacks way too often. 18,007 members. So um, see, it's already growing. It's still growing. We're growing all the time. Um it's been, it's been a wild ride. You know, I, I expected when we started, I'm like, this is going to be so wonderful. This is going to be great. It's, it's just going to slowly, like, it's going to just slowly grow and it'll be just, I'll just nurture it and it'll be so wonderful. And then it just like took off. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, what just happened? <laughs> In a good way, of course, in a great way. I'm just like so excited. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> we've hired a marketing team. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> this is amazing. I, I'm so happy um, that you are all here to share it with me. And um, I think it's just going to continue to continue to grow. And the community here is so positive and so uplifting. And that's one thing that I'm like determined to keep. Like I want to hold on to that. Like we need this, this feeling to stay. Um, I just, that means so much to me that everybody's so encouraging and supportive and wonderful. And like, this is where I want to be like, Forget all the other places. This is where I want to be. <laughs> so, um, are you ever going? <laughs> oh, you mean like, like metal detecting? Will you still? Oh, yes. I'll still keep the booths. Absolutely. Yes. Um, for sure. Let's see. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I saw you had several sales this weekend, Kathy. Congratulations. I was rooting for you. I was like, oh, another sale. This is awesome. <laughs> I was so happy for you. Oh, my goodness. You are all so wonderful. Um, so today we get the keys for the new place. Um... Uh, who was I talking to yesterday? I think I was, I was, I sent a, I think I sent a, a voice, a voicemail over to uh, Christina. Um, so we get the keys today um, and it's going to be, it's going to be a little, a little rough this next month. Um, we don't have, we don't have a, a sitter for the kids this month. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of touch and go with setting up the new place. Um, fortunately, I've got uh, Sage and Shelby here to help me. Probably gonna get them some paintbrushes and put them to work. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna work on getting the net, the place set up. Um, we're just gonna have to. Um, one of us has to stay home with Laurel, so we're not gonna be able to be in the space at the same time working on it, which is gonna be a little rough uh, for the next month. But um, we're gonna make it happen, and I'm really excited about it really excited about it. So that's why I've been having more sales than usual, just trying to get rid of some stuff and um, less stuff to move. So um, I think that's it for our coffee chat today. I don't know. You know, I, I said I was going to do a sale on whatnot next week, but I'm just not really feeling it. <laughs> I mean, I like it more here. Is that like, is that wrong to say? <laughs> oh, Annie. Annie's like, oh, no, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> yeah I don't know the, the past few sales have been just a little toxic I felt like it was just real everybody even even afterwards Christina messaged me she's like is this just me or was it a little crunchy I was like it felt a little crunchy I don't know I didn't really care for it I know my international friends that's the only reason I would do it that's the only reason I would do it. So I, I will follow through. I will follow through. I've got my international friends to uh, to uh, head over there for. Um, but once we get it over here, it's game over. <laughs> once we get international over here. <laughs> so, um, all right. I think that's it for us. I, I think um, 
I think that was our coffee chat for today. I'm very excited for all the things happening here. Um, yes, I remember you guys. And um, yeah, I'm still listing on eBay. It's just eBay's behind the times. They're behind the times. They got to catch up. Um, so yeah, uh, I have a sale this afternoon at two o'clock. I will be shopping the shop and then another sale tomorrow at four. I might have scheduled it for 4.30. 4 or 4.30. Um, we're going to do that tomorrow. Don't forget that tonight is the groovy train. Um, I think Christina Moon Sky is kicking that off. Every Tuesday is the groovy train. Um, and uh, I, I feel like it's an event. It's an event now. Everybody's looking forward to it. And it's happening tonight. Um, so we're going to be doing that. And then tomorrow uh, is the jewelry train again. It was so great last week that they're doing it again tomorrow. So. Um, I love, I love the candle holder. It's so good. Um, all right. We are going to raid now. We are going to raid over into Jeannie Bird Vintage. I see she's live over here on my computer. Um, everybody have a wonderful day. Everybody have a wonderful day. Um, we're going to go do this raid. I'm very excited, um, to raid into, uh, Jeannie Bird and, uh, yeah, I'm sure she has some wonderful stuff because I've popped into a few of her shows. Um, so hang on tight. I'm going to send you over. If you're over on Facebook and YouTube, you got to come over here to Knickknacks to uh, follow along on this adventure. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys later this afternoon at two o'clock. So long. Bye-bye. <laughs> end stream, and raid.